such institutions often run the risk of existing in isolation as ivory towers. Ivory towers. That is why it is all the more heartening to note that the IIT Delhi has always seen itself is part of the larger community and it has been extra sensitive to its responsibility to our society. The latest example of its social concern was seen during the initial phase of the pandemic. Rising to the challenge of containing the virus, the IIT Delhi initiated important research and development project. It designed, developed, rapid antigen test kits, PPEs, antimicrobial fabrics, high efficiency face masks, and low cost ventilators, among other things. The IIT Delhi's contribution in India's fight against the coronavirus has been a model of how engineering and technology institutions too can play a role in a public health crisis. The glorious past of this institute gives us an a student's this. It will play a crucial role in the future as India enters the Amrut Kal. By 2047, when we will celebrate the centenary of independence, the world around us will have challenged drastically, changed drastically, thanks to the fourth industrial revolution. Just as we were in no position 25 years ago, to imagine the con contemporary world, we cannot visualize today how artificial intelligence and autonomous are going to transform life. With our high population numbers, we need to have a foresight and strategies in place to deal with the forces of future where disruption will be a new normal. The nature of empl employment will get completely changed. If we take steps to protect ourselves from vagaries of the future, we can reap rich demographic dividends. We need to make our institutes adaptable to future. This will require a new teaching learning matrix, pedagogy and content which are future-oriented. I am sure that with our famed IITs, we will be able to nurture the younger generation with necessary knowledge base and right skills to face the challenge. India will benefit immensely from the next wave of the technological revolution. I am happy to learn that the IIT Delhi is encouraging research and innovation in a big way. The research and innovation part inaugurated today is intended to create an ecosystem in which students, faculty, and industry would exchange ideas to give boost to growth and innovation. Looking towards 2047, the climate change poses a serious challenge. As a developing country with a high population base, our energy requir requirement for economic growth is very high. Hence, we need to shift from fossil fuels to renewable energy. India, as you are aware, has taken a praiseworthy lead in the international stage in promoting solar energy. In the years to come, as the world anxiously looks for technological solutions to environmental challenges, I trust India's young engineers and scientists will help humankind achieve a breakthrough. The nation will have similar expectations from the IITs for their inputs in achieving the sustainable development goal. Dear friends, I believe India has a great talent pool which is yet to be tapped fully. Two sections of society offer rich talent, but these students began accessing 
educational opportunities in significant numbers only after independence. I am referring here to women and marginalized community. Their numbers in top ranking institutions have been increasing in recent times. I am glad to see so many young women here today. I understand that female students at the IIT Delhi have done wonderful well. Even during its initial years, they have successfully busted the myth that very few women excel in STEM, that is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Their success motivates more and more girls to consider a career in STEM and break a few more glass ceilings. In making India Atmanirbhar, the contribution of its young women is going to be most critical. To all students here today, I wish to say that you are fortunate to be here and this is the best time of your time. Please use your time in the best possible manner because the way you shape your career and your life ahead will define shape India will take in future. I would urge you to keep in mind the concern to all fellow citizens. I thank the IIT Delhi community for inviting me here today and let me participate in the Diamond Jubilee celebrations. I once again con congratulate you all, the administrators, faculty, students, and the staff for making the IIT Delhi what it is. I believe its best is yet to come, and it is destined to scale even greater heights. My best wishes are with you in the journey ahead. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.